It's important to remember, by law, insurance companies have to justify their premiums. But experts tell me current economic conditions, plus the impact of storms and wildfires in recent years, has led to justified price hikes. And if homeowners don't adjust, they may end up without the coverage they need. Everybody needs to be aware that what may have been covering your house a year or two ago is not necessarily the price that it needs to be at right now. Spending 14 years helping his neighbors with insurance issues in the Pikes Peak region, Trey Whitlock says people need to pay attention to what's going on. The cost to insure a house is going to be more when the cost to rebuild a house is going to be more. So yes, everybody should probably be expecting some kind of rate change. The skyrocketing cost of construction materials because of lingering supply chain issues and a labor shortage are driving up the price of home repair and building expenses. There are concerns if homeowners don't make changes to their insurance policies to adjust for the increases, their policies won't cover major repair expenses if they need them. It is far more expensive today to build a home than what it was a year and a half, two years ago. El Paso County Assessor Steve Schleicher says he's seen firsthand how costly it can be not having sufficient insurance coverage. His office worked to help some of the people who lost homes in the Waldo Canyon fire and other local disasters in recent years when they found out their current insurance policy wasn't enough. Unfortunately, many of the folks that were impacted, either damaged or their properties were destroyed, is they were underinsured. And so when they make a claim, the insurance company comes in and says, well, this is what you're insured for. And they, they really didn't get the, you know, um, the monies from the insurance company of what the actual replacement cost is. So the experts say the effort to protect your home from a future disaster should start now. So everybody should be asking their agent for a personal insurance review uh, just to make sure that their dwelling coverage is at a sufficient amount. When it comes to navigating homeowners insurance, this should be a fair and transparent process. So if you have any questions or even complaints, you should be reaching out to state investigators. I've posted ways to do just that on our website, koaa.com. Always watching out for you, Patrick Nelson, News 5.